You learned a lot yesterday in Washington, D.C. First of all, uh, things are getting uh, worse. Um, the um, the the amazing um, the amazing idea that they haven't they haven't done anything about the IRS or anybody else. They're making things much 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 worse um, by institutionalizing um, the hassling of anybody who disagrees with this administration. But the good news is we're standing, and uh, there are a lot of patriots that are standing and speaking out and giving other people um, courage. Could you open the safe for me? Could you have Mark open the safe for me? I want to show you something and bring on uh, Marcus Luttrell, who's who's uh, here in uh, Dallas. And how you doing, Marcus? Good, brother. How are you? I'm good. Glad you made it back. <laughs> I am too, man. Hey, when's the last time you were in Washington D.C., Marcus? Um, it's been a while. It's changed, brother. It has changed. I, I mean, I I remember liking it in the 1980s, um, but I, it's it's kind of lost its uh, its uh, charm to me. But boy, it is becoming. It's really a it's a despicable place. It's really changing, Marcus. Yeah. So you're um. Are you on your Patriot? When you go on your Patriot tour? Uh, August. And where are you going? Uh, we're hitting. First, we're starting out in Texas, obviously. Uh, Houston, we think Austin, Dallas, uh, Minneapolis, Indianapolis, Salt Lake City, and I think Pensacola. And are you? Uh, we're hitting seven of them. And what is the topic of your? It's called the Patriot Tour. It, it started out um, kind of an idea between me and Chris Kyle, and we wanted to get on the road and share our stories with the. The general masses. I mean, a lot of times when we get up and, and, and talk to people, it's in a private environment. And um, he just felt like, and I felt like that would be a good idea to get out there and, and kind of tell a little about what we did and how we did it and some of the other people that we served with. Just to let people know. Um, and he is. Kind of fire him up, you know. And once we lost him, I um, I kind of buckled me to my knees a little bit. But I uh, I shook it off and, and, and I can't keep on you know did do it do it for him instead of with him this time yeah he um uh profound loss you know when i was talking to his wife uh, a couple of weeks ago she was on the air with us and i asked her i said did the president did the president ever reach out not anything marcus not anything nothing yeah. I, I mean i can't i mean uh, you know I, I you know how i feel about the man but i i'm trying to put into perspective can you can you compare what he was or what he did to anybody in American history as a as a as a war hero? I mean, who is he compared to in history? Huh. Uh, I mean, he's like our Red Baron, right? <laughs> That'd be a good as our generation's uh, Audie Murphy. Or, um, he was just yeah, I mean, exactly. He was a, a real John Wayne, I guess. I mean, it's amazing. And our president never, um, never even recognized. By the way, um, do we have where? Where can you get tickets for the Patriot Tour? Do we have that information? Where can you get them, Marcus? Uh, have... At marcusatrol dot com. Okay. Did you come up with a, a better handle for that? It's, it's not very catchy. Marcusatrol dot com. Um, I want to show you My something. My wife told me not to mess that one up. Yeah. <laughs> I want to tell you she does rule the roost, doesn't she? Oh my God. Yeah. Um, anybody who says you know, oh no, I wear the pants of the family, really. Marcus doesn't even wear the pants of the family. Yeah, no, I don't. Um, at all. I have shoes. I, <laughs> when she gives them to you. Yes. Um, I want to. Uh, I want to show you something. Now, this is just. Uh, this is just. Um, Marcus delivered this a couple of days ago. This is going to um, Salt Lake City, and I don't think this is. Has this ever been seen before, Marcus? No, sir. No. This is. You'll see a movie coming out um, in late December. Um, and then in, in January called The Lone Survivor, um, and it is um, the story of Marcus and his team and one of the, the just one of the greatest stories you've, you, you could ever read of um, heroism. And uh, Marcus was lucky enough to live through it, to be able to tell the story of what his teammates did. But this is his actual helmet, that was that he was wearing in combat 
Um, and this, Marcus, was found later, wasn't it? Two years later. Wow. And how do they know that it uh, for sure was yours? Uh, I'm the only one that that did that. The that Texas kind of flag. My, kind of my thing. Me and my brother, and, and my brother had made it out of country and passed that off to me. So Now I want to show you something. Uh, this will This will blow you away. Um, this was the uniform that he was wearing, and it has been washed. It was washed by um, the Afghanis, right? Yes, sir. And so, the back part of it was sewn up. Um, I think the back left leg. They tried to sew it up, but it's too so mangled. It doesn't have it doesn't have all the blood on it, but it'll give you some idea of what this battle was like. These were the brand new pants that he was wearing when he went out on the uh, on Operation Red Wing. Look at this. Wow. Jeez. <laughs> you just grab them? Look at that. I mean, they're wow, torn to shreds. Torn to shreds. That's the only way. That's how you describe it. And you his... wash your hands after. <laughs> That's <laughs> still covered in Afghani. Mm. And the wow. holes in the uh, the jacket and what do you call this this pack here? Just I guess this is your pack. As uh, yeah, my LVD. It's where I carried my uh, weapon or my rounds. Magazines and everything. Hmm. That doesn't really smell real. In fact, yeah. something in this box doesn't really smell real. <laughs> Sounds like death. Yeah. Um, it's an amazing, uh, amazing thing uh, that you would let us borrow this and let us show it to people. Uh, this independence, and you're, you're actually going to be there this uh, summer, aren't you? Yes, sir. Bringing the family down, so you can come and say hi to Marcus Luttrell. And uh, and his family, and personally thank him for for everything. And and then if you happen to be in any of the cities that Marcus is going to be touring in, um, make sure you go and see him and uh, listen to the stories uh, from. I know he. No, let me, let me rephrase this because this always makes him uncomfortable. So let me rephrase it. Listen to the stories about heroes from somebody who has walked the walk, Marcus Luttrell. Um, and you can find out uh, more about it at MarcusLatrell.com. Marcus, thank you so much, brother. Yes, sir. Thanks for having me. You bet. We'll see you soon.